This lesson, we're going to add and subtract polynomials. When you have a plus, you can just drop the parentheses. And then you'll want to collect your like terms. Like terms will have the same variables and the matching exponents on those variables. So in this case, I have a 4x and a 2x, which I can combine. So 4x's plus 2x's give me 6x's. And then 8 minus 3 gives me 5. For my next example, again, I have a plus there, so I can just drop my parentheses. I have 3x squared and plus 1x squared. That gives me 4x squared. I have 2x and 6x. When I combine the 2x and 6x, that gives me 8x's. And then lastly, a negative 7 and a plus 2 gives me negative 5. Example 3, again, I have a plus, so I can just drop my parentheses. I only have one x squared term. This is x to the first, so they're not like terms. Even though they have the same variables, the exponents are not the same. This has x to the first on it. So 5x squared. I don't have any other x's. The only thing I can combine are my numbers. Negative 2 plus 4 gives me plus 2. Example 4, I have a plus, so I can just drop my parentheses. And then I'll combine my like terms. There's a negative 4x squared and a plus 1x squared. When I combine those, I get 5x squared. This time, I only have a single x term. I don't have any other x's, so that's going to give me negative 3x. I do have two terms that are numbers, so I have a 9 here and a minus 2. When I combine those, I get plus 7. I'm going to scoop my paper up. We're going to move on to subtraction. When you have subtraction, you have to distribute that to everything in the next set of parentheses after that subtraction sign. The first one will stay the same. You can drop the parentheses. But I have to subtract everything in the second set of parentheses. So I get minus 2x then minus 4. Collecting your like terms, 7x's minus 2x's give you 5x, and 6 minus 4 is positive 2. On number 6, notice I have a minus. I don't have a minus in front of my first one now, so I can drop the parentheses on my first polynomial, but then I'm subtracting my next one. So everything in here I have to subtract. So I'm taking the opposite of all of those. That gives me negative 1x squared minus 6x plus 5. And then I need to collect my terms. 8x squared minus 1x squared is 7x squared. This is minus 7x and minus 6x. So I'm 7x's in debt. I go 6 more x's in debt. I'm now 13x's in debt. And then my numbers, 2 and 5, I can combine those and I'll get 7. On number 7, I have a minus sign in front of my second set of parentheses. I don't have a minus in front of my first. 
So I can drop the first set of parentheses, but then I have to subtract every term in here or take the opposite. So this is the opposite of negative 2x, so that's going to be plus 2x. And then I have to subtract the 9. I always like to, on the subtractions, rewrite it because otherwise you forget to change signs. Usually it's that second one you'll forget. Collect your like terms. I only have one of my x squared terms. I don't have any others I can combine it with, so I have 4x squared. I do have two terms with x. I have a negative 3x and a plus 2x. When I combine those, I get negative 1x. You don't have to put the 1 there. You can put negative x if you want. And then minus 9. Last example. First set of parentheses does not have a negative in front of it, so I can just drop the parentheses. The second one does, so I need to take the opposite of everything inside. So negative x squared, negative, negative 4x, so that's going to be plus 4x. And then I'm going to take the opposite of negative 1, so that's plus 1. And then I want to collect my like terms. 11x squared minus 1x squared gives me 10x squared. Negative 5x and plus 4x will give me negative 1x. Or you can just write the x there. You can write it with the 1 or without. Either is correct. And then my last term, I'll have plus 1. In Schoology, I would probably not put the 1.